God, I, I'm, I'm about half tempted to fucking shave. Don't do it. God damn. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Randy. What up, Randy? Uh, you know, we were talking about, I was talking about crazy people on the way here and the way they're driving, and then, and then I just informed you of an incident that just happened. Yeah, and we just watched that, and fucking people are nuts. Yeah. Now, I did some more research into that, because I, I just got sent the video with no news story or nothing. Okay. Apparently, well, there's... hold on. Here's the so uh, yeah, we should set it we up. Probably set it up and tell people. I forgot so, we've been talking about it, but we just started the yeah. show. Uh, so in PA, just outside of Scranton, yeah, a, a couple was killed by a dickhead a neighbor for throwing snow on his property. I assume, but he lived across the street. So this is the thing I don't get. They were shoveling down their driveway, pushing across the street and into his. Oh well, who... <laughs> okay. So they were putting snow on his property. He got pissed off, pulled out a handgun. He went inside and got one. I mean, well, it, well, it said they he pulled out a handgun and yeah. then shot them and then but went if you, inside. If you see the original video and edited, he went inside, got a pistol, came out and shot him. Okay, then goes back and gets a it, some type of a rifle. I'm going to say it's an AR-15. It was not an assault rifle, right? It's I just say it's a rifle. It's a rifle. It's hard to tell in that grainy video. Um, but yeah, he he pulled out a pistol and they kept taunting him and said shoot it. And the lady pulled out her cell phone to record him. Yeah. As he as here's what I don't get. The guy fires. The first four rounds miss and miss the, the husband. Dude. Yeah. But his wife is still just walking towards him with her phone. People are The stupid. dude has a gun. He is actively firing. And these, these two kept, like, turn and run. Yeah. I, I, it's not worth your life. But Apparently it was. I guess. So I, I did more reading into it. Apparently this is not a one-time incident. Oh, no. I'm sure this is. These been two have been for... feuding for a while. The dude that killed them and then committed suicide, his wife had passed. And these two had ta- have taunted him about that even. No. Oh. So when you, you call the guy that, that killed them, sure, you, you're, it wasn't worth taking lives. Right. I give you that. But he's not the only a-hole in the situation. No, he's not. They're... The other two across the street, well, you can already grown tell. couples have been taunting him about things like his dead wife. You can tell they're assholes so, already just by yeah. the way they're acting. They all are. So they but must be just, Q, QA non supporters. It, uh, it it just blew my mind. He, he he shot them both, then went back in to get a high powered rifle of some sort. They say, who knows? It does look like an AR fifteen. It looks like an AR fifteen. And but comes it, back and and because uh, they were both still alive at one point after they'd been shot several times with the pistol, she stands back up. Yeah, and yells at him, and then kind of lays back down. Uh, when he comes back out, she you can see her reacting, and then he finishes it, and it's. It's, so uh, it's it's crazy. It's so stupid. But then they finish off the article from whatever that was, hard copy or inside edition or whoever it was. Yeah. They finish off with people squaring off, hitting each other with snow shovels. <laughs> White plastic snow <laughs> shovels. It looked like a, a uh, LARP was, thing going on. That, now, that, that is, that's my kind of humor. Yeah, that was funny. Two people going at it, slapping each other with snow shovels. Good God. I, so, hey, yeah. it snowed. Don't put... Snow in your neighbor's well, see, driveway. Here's what you do. If you just don't shovel anything. Oh, you mean like I did? Yeah. Yeah, your place was great to drive up and walk on today. I was fine. If you, Yeah, if you leave the snow there, it'll kind of add traction. Dude, your whole driveway is just a skating rink. I know. <laughs> it's, you know why? Because you've been driving over it. Well, it's because, one, I've been driving over it. Two, I've been going down it in four-wheel drive just gunning the just... shit out of it. <laughs> and I mean, it, did, it wasn't like hard to drive up, but it's, it's just ice. It's not terrible. I think... Next year, we're going, we're over the summer, whenever snowblowers go on sale. I'm going to buy one. Now that I've got that concrete pad, I should at least have a snowblower for that part. But we're yeah. going to finish out the rest of the driveway with concrete at some point, like in the next two years. And I'll just do the whole thing, like snowblow the whole thing. And You got two daughters. Get two shovels. Oh, those shitheads ain't going out there. Speaking of two daughters, let's tell, I'm, let me tell you how smart my kids are. Okay. I'm here My kids for it. are brilliant. Um, <clears throat> so... What what day? Whatever day it was, it started snowing heavy. The girls didn't have school Friday, I think, or Thursday. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. Yeah, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. One of those days. Whatever. Because they didn't have school either day. Um, They're like, oh, Harley's like, I'm going outside to play. So she goes outside to play, and she plays by herself. The next day, Lexi is like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go out and, and, and play in the snow with Harley. Harley's already out there. She's been out there for 15, 20 minutes. Lexi took like another 40 minutes to get ready before she went out. Harley was on her way in, and then they both went back out and played in the snow some more. 
just to kind of set things up. So they're out there, they're running around, they're jumping on the trampoline, having snowball fights with each other, throwing snowballs at Diesel. And then they get the bright idea to walk back to the pond. Okay. Yeah. So they walk out onto the pond. Now, the pond doesn't have much water. Like, it's maybe Your got, pond's a swamp. It's a, Yeah, it's got like maybe three foot of water in it total. At the deepest part, at, at the, the deepest time. Yes. <laughs> they fucking fell through the ice. Oh, my gosh. They come back in. I'm up here. Like, we're up here working. So it was during the day while uh, we're doing shit. And I go running down. I was taking a shit. So, like, I go <laughs> running downstairs. Liz comes running downstairs. Pants around your ankles. Pre- had wiped. Pretty close. Uh, <laughs> that, Cheeks just sliding off each other. Had, had, definitely hadn't wiped. <laughs> uh, and oh, go, man. And Gr- they're, they're from, like, Lexi's waist down. She's just soaking wet. <coughs> Harley from, like, her chest down. She's soaking yeah, wet. Yeah, Harley short. And I look at her. I'm like, what is going on? She's like, we fell in the pond. I'm like. Oh, you got no sympathy for me at this point. What were we doing on the pond? Well, we thought it, we, 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 we. I'm like, and of course, to them, I'm pretty sure they probably thought they were dying. Yeah, and they're free. Like the heart is like, oh, I can't feel my hands. I'm like, well, no. I said you were in sub degree water. Yeah. I said, of course you can't feel your hands. I said, they go to come inside, and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. So you guys are soaking wet. You ain't coming inside. I said, you get dressed out there in a the garage. It's cold out here. I'm like. Yeah, but you're not getting that dirty pond water all over that my house. Swamp water. You're not. No, 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 no. I said, I don't. I said, I'm, I'm. I said, fortunately for you, I said, you're fine. I said, unfortunately for you, I have no sympathy for you guys falling in the pond. I yeah. said, you did not use your brains. I'm like, calm down. Just get undressed. I can't feel anything. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe next time you shouldn't go for a polar plunge. Right. Don't. Don't. Dun, so. Dun. So, yeah, uh, but a week earlier, Harley had made a comment about that she wanted to go do a polar plunge. Well, she did. She did. So, yeah, my kids are brilliant. Falling into the swamp water. They fell into the pond. And I had then I had to have, like, a, you know, you're fine. But what possessed you to go out there? You know you're not supposed to be out there. Like, you can play around it because the snow's deep there because it drifts up into the pond. I said, but what would possess you? Well, we did it last year. I said, yeah. I said, it's been like 20 degrees for a day. It's not enough to ice that over. I said, right. you, you, you need a good week, week and a half to get that thick enough to walk on. You know better. I said, if that had pond had funny. been actually deeper, I said, you guys would have been in deep shit. I said, because we can't hear you. We're upstairs in the office. Yeah. Good parenting. I know. <laughs> Oh man, and, and your kids are old enough to know better. They are. I yes. will definitely give you that. They, they are, are. They are seemingly bright girls. Lexi, I is, thought. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. Like Harley's like, I didn't even want to go out there. I'm like, then why did you go? Yeah. Lexi made me. I'm like the, the horse shit she did. I said she didn't make you go out there. I will say Harley's way too strong willed. I said Harley. I said she did not make you go out there. I said you went out there because you wanted to go out there as well. Yeah. So this summer that pond is either. I told Liz, I'm like, it has to either be filled in or it needs to be made bigger. You're going to have to put like a WWF style cage around your pool. They're going to be pulling that crap. Jesus. Lock them out. Well, that's the other. So we just had, I just had contractors out. The guy who, the, the handyman that I usually do for, that I have do work on my house, like fixing the roof or fixing. He's fixing, got the best handies. He does. He moisturizes. Yeah, uh, maybe. They feel so soft. I don't know. I haven't really. Shaking it. He usually has his buddies come out. Man, that's a party. It is. Super. Um, but his uh, – he does, like, fencing, and he does home renovations and roofing and gutters. Just like a general contractor. He's a general kinda. contractor type of guy. So I had him – I called him yesterday because I'm having an, an issue with my roof that they fixed. Um, some of the shingles have pulled up, and they're flapping in the wind. Oh, nice. Yeah. So no big deal. They're going to come out and fix it uh, probably Monday. And then um, – I had him come out about a fence for around the pool and his dad's the fence guy. And he shows up with another dude who's been doing like fencing for 35 years. And he's like, I've been doing it. My dad did this. My brothers do it. We all do it. And I'm like, okay, cool story. Cool story. So let's, what, what are we looking at here? And he's like, don't know. He's like, let's do some measurements and I'll get you a quote back. And he goes, and then we'll make adjustments as needed. So picking a fence is kind of a pain in the ass. It's like, looking at four or five different pairs of shoes and then trying to figure out what pair of shoes you want to buy. 
I don't care about shoes. Well, I don't care. I want the ones that feel the most comfy. Right. So I just want a fence that's going to provide some privacy and look good. Keep your daughters from falling well, through the water. That's not going to happen. Through the water, I just said. That's not going to happen because the, the, the fence will go around half the house and the pool. It's not going to separate the deck from the It's from just going to fence area. in the backyard. It's just a, gonna, a portion of it. Yeah, it's just going to – I'm fencing in a portion of the backyard. So that'll be fun. But anyway – so you had some fun getting here, I heard. Yeah. Well, I'm already – so I'm driving best van because Thursday we were down – I've been in Cincy every day this week except for yesterday because Thursday we were down there in a suburb of Cincy working. Mm-hmm. Good work day. Got a lot of stuff done. Ran into some issues we didn't expect. Got them handled. Uh, we go to leave, and I walk outside. We're saying our goodbyes, told the the – other guy that works with us said, hey, be safe driving home. Um, tomorrow I need you to go here, you know, kind of set him up for the next day. And I look over, and there is Exxon Valdez under my van. Oh, yeah? I thought you were going to say all four wheels were moving. Just removed. right. <laughs> Nobody is still in, like, 12-inch transit <laughs> connect wheels. Hey, you don't know that. And it was on a – well, I'm not going to say where it's on because I don't want people to know what I do. But, um, no, we weren't in a bad part of Cincinnati. That You're a handy man also. Oh, I'm very handy. Um, so yeah, there's just a giant and it's wet pavement anyway from the snow, big puddle of oil. And I'm like, man, that's, that's oil. And and I literally was like, I need to get this thing in for an oil change on my way down there. I was like, it's a deal. So I'm like, oh, that's oil. Well, come to find out it's not oil. I pull the dipstick. It's dirty, but it's not milky. It's not too dark. You know, it's, it's due, but, and it's still all the way up to the fill line or the full line. So I'm I'm just under the max line, plenty of oil. Okay, well, it's probably coolant. So we start looking, can't find a leak anywhere. Tranny fluid. So tranny, I checked the tranny fluid. You had trannies under your I thought, yeah, transit. I thought for sure my tranny done flipped the script on me uh, and, and re-identified as something else. But uh, I pulled the dipstick for the transmission fluid. It looks great. Okay. So I'm like, okay, it's, it's coolant. I'm trying to smell it. It doesn't really smell too much like coolant. It's a little sweet. It seems like whoever did it last put more water in than anything. Okay. But whatever. Um, and being that's a work vehicle, I usually take it somewhere to have work done so I have receipts. Right. They, you know, they don't you like You get us. reimbursed for that and you get Well, you I, don't, I use you company don't, credit card. Well, you don't pay for it anyway. But. Right. So, but that way we've got receipts that it was, quote unquote, professionally maintained. maintained. Right. Um, so I'm looking. Radiator looks fine. Can't find it. So I have the dudes, my, my uh, the guy works under me. Fire up the van. So we're watching it. We're watching it. In, in the overflow, the reservoir is yeah. like bone dry. Okay. So I'm like, well, it's, it's definitely low. Well, I, we, we start seeing a drip. I'm looking around. And from the right side of the engine, it looks like there, there's this little, like, uh, depression in one of the parts. And there's just bu- – the water's, like, bubbling into that. So I start looking. I think it's around the water pump. Okay. I was going to say it wasn't a freeze plug, was it? No. So, it's hard to see the way the engine's set up, but I basically drove it a mile to a gas station, got two <laughs> two jugs of antifreeze, uh, you know, and I sat there and let it cool off. And then polluted the earth. Filled it up, drove about 40 minutes, then the needle just started getting above half, so I pulled it off, let it cool down, topped it off, <laughs> did that all the way home Thursday. So, uh-huh. the van is home. So, today, I go to leave, I'm like, yeah, I got a podcast, I woke up way later, I, I must have needed sleep. Which I was up late last night, but still. And uh, I get up. It's Huck's birthday today. Oh. Yeah, like literally today. <laughs> and here I am. And you're here. I forgot. Well, we're going out when I get back home. Okay. After nap time. So, um, you know, I, I kind of got up and I went to leave. You know, I got ready. I was like, Beth, I probably shouldn't drive my van. Like, it would have made it here if I topped it off and yeah. then leaked all over your driveway. Yeah. And then topped it off and drove it back. But I was like, I, I want to need to take your van. She goes, yeah, absolutely. That's what I figured you were doing. So I get in her van. Of course, I'm six one. She's like 4'11". Yeah. So I've got to adjust everything. The DVD player is playing Winnie the Pooh. I can't figure out how to get it on the radio. So you listen to Winnie the Pooh all the whole way here? No, about – I turned that off. Damn. I was hoping like the whole way here you just had Winnie the Pooh playing in the background. I mean, we when we go somewhere as a family, that's what happens. So – um. But I'm driving out, and people are just driving like freaking jack wagons. Like, I'm leaving Circleville. What's a jack wagon? Um, 
it is a it's in your dictionary. So when I leave Circleville, it's a, you know one of the roads I'm going out out 22 is 35 mile an hour. You cross Nicholas Drive and it becomes 45. So I'm driving. I set the cruise at like 50 mile an hour. This dude comes flying through the intersection, just rides right up on my butt. So I'm like, whatever. I'm not in a hurry. Beth had made me some breakfast. So I'm literally just eating bacon and driving. And we pass um, the park, you know, and, and the speed limit increases to 55. So I bump my speed up to about 60. Jack Wagon's not in here. Oh, it should be. Maybe two separate words. You might have to look up Jack and Wagon and then just put them together on your own. Jack Screw. Jack Scrotum. Consisting oh. of a screw steadied by a thread support. Threaded support. There you go. I wonder if Jack Wagon's on Urban Dictionary. I don't know. So anyway, I bump it up to 60, maybe 62, and I pull away from the guy. So apparently he just wanted to go 60 and a 45. So no problem there. Well, then I get farther out 22, and somebody pulls out of a driveway in front of me. Now, again, my crew is set like 60, 62. They pulled out way like they definitely shouldn't have. But it wasn't so so close that I have jam on my brakes. So I let yeah. off, get up behind them, and they're going 50. And I'm like, you mother. So I, I, I left a couple car lengths, waiting for a time to pass them. Well, then they gun it, and they take off. So I'm of like, course. okay, so I climb back up to 60, 62, whatever. Then they slow back down. Then they gun it. They slow, and it's this whole accordion thing they're playing. I'm like, God, just pick a speed. Hopefully over the, at least 55. Give me that. M- minimum speed limit. That's all I ask. Always minimum speed limit. And I never get to a passing zone. Well, they go straight while I turn to come towards your place. Yeah, you did. So I turn. <laughs> hey, now. So I make the turn. I'm driving. There's a vehicle in front of me, but they seem to be doing about 65. So they, you know, I just kind of, I'm like eight car lengths behind them or something. And I turn off on one of the side roads to head this way. Guy comes flying up my butt. Now the side road's 45. I'm doing about 55. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Still not mad at any of these people. And then I come to an intersection that's kind of an offset. And I see somebody coming the other way in a beautifully shiny maroon Lexus. And they are flying. And It's one of those things where they want to beat you to the stop sign. Yeah. Of course. Well, that's not what it always is. Yeah. I don't speed up. But I still manage to get to my stop sign before they get to theirs. Turn on my left turn signal, look both ways. I make my turn. They, as soon as I started, they come out so fast. It's a middle-aged woman. She comes out so fast, she almost hits me in the side of the van, not the back. Mm. So I'm like, whatever. I don't, You know, this van's paid off. It's an old hoopty van. Yeah. I mean, it's reliable, but it's nothing special. Hit me. So I just keep driving. I'm going about 55 in a 45 zone. And she's on my tail the whole time. Well, as you know, that road has hills, and it's just full of no passing zones. Yeah. And I, as I creep up, I get closer to 60, and she just stays right on my tail. So I go, you know what? I should probably go the speed limit. So I back down a little. I don't jam on my brakes. I just coast back down to around 50. Yeah. Still in a 45. Go over the hill, turn on my right turn signal to head towards your house, and she proceeds to go ahead and decide to pass me. Whatever. Forget the fact that it's double yellow line. And approaching an intersection with the hill coming down the one side you can't see anybody on. It'll be fine. She goes flying around me and then cuts me off. So clear. Like, she starts coming over onto me. So I hit my horn. Coming onto you. And mm, came onto me so hard. Yes, she did. And for all of my troubles, I got flipped off. So I just laughed. So she did fuck you. Oh, yeah. Okay. With the bird. It's like the whole way here, no matter what road I was on. Maintaining all traffic laws, going plenty fast. People are morons. People are being jackholes today. People just well. It, so I think part of it's because the Super Bowl's tomorrow. I don't care. I, I mean, I like the Super Bowl, but that's no reason to be acting a fool. Oh, yeah, it is. They got places to go. I mean, that's what got somebody. That's what got a couple shot and killed in PA, acting like jack wagons. Had they yeah. just shoveled their drive and throw it in their own yard or the road, they'd be alive they'd today. Be fine. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, so the Super Bowl is. Well, as we record, it's tomorrow. So, but as you listen to this, the Buccaneers have already won. Is that who you're going for? Yeah. All right. I want to see Tom Brady get his seventh ring. I don't. I do because it's going to make so many people so mad. I just want, I want to see the Chiefs win. I don't. They won last year. I don't care. I want to see the Buccaneers win, too, because they haven't. So, like, they've not even had a shot in so long. See, they're a Florida team, though. I know. And everything in Florida is fucked up. 
I agree with that. So they don't need to win. Actually, I think it would be I want I want the Chiefs to win because they are in Florida and the Buccaneers have home field advantage. For which the first is time ever. Kind of Super Bowl team has yes, home field advantage. Which I guarantee you when they set that up, nobody thought the Buccaneers would be there. No. No, God no. But I wanna I wanna see the Chiefs win. I wanna see him beat I hope that at this point the Chiefs have won. The Tampa Brady Buccaneers? Yeah. Yeah, the Chiefs have won. Brady okay. doesn't need another ring. You say the Chiefs have won, I say the Buccaneers have won. Yeah. We will see. We'll see. We'll see. So We should put a friendly wager on this of something. Uh well you are drinking well, you're drinking your whiskey out of my glass. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have anything to wager. I I don't know what I was even gonna say. So, I was gonna say like a Chick fil A sandwich or something. <laughs> That's too but far drive. There's not even one near either of us. <laughs> no, that's too far drive. Like, here's a Chick fil A sandwich I got four it's days ago. It's super cold, and right. it's been in my fridge. Been in my fridge for you here. Good luck warming it up. Take it out of that paper container because it's got tinfoil in it. Um, Let's bet a bottle of Jim Beam bottled in Bond. No. <laughs> a bottle of Kentucky Tavern. I'll give you a bottle of that. No, thank I'll you. I'll give you a half a bottle no, or whatever you. I got down there. No, thank you. Ugh. Ugh. No. A bottle of bullet. Okay. Bottle of bullet. Just straight normal bullet, not Just, not the hundred dollar whatever. No, no, cheaper. not the hundred dollar. Your choice, bottle of bullet. Okay. I'm down. So whatever the rye or the the cast strength. I mean, they only go up to like fifty bucks. So yeah, they're really really. So we'll say cheap. winner's choice. If you win, you get a pick. What I buy? No, just just whatever. Just whatever. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. No bottle of bullet. So I got I bullet. got the man. You're, now, now I suddenly not, care more. Yeah, not by it's not by points or a spread. It's no, just, just straight wins. Straight wins. Heads up, whoever wins, whoever wins. So, all right, cool. It's bottle of bullet. In. There we go. So uh, next time you hear this, I'll have another bottle of bullet under my <laughs> on my shelf. I think you might. <laughs> um, I really do. Yeah. So now that we've <coughs> we we've kind of broken into the whiskey, let's let's do some <coughs> some chatting about that. So you Ugh. you're back on. Well, not back on. We have the bottle of Virgil Kane, yes. Urban Rail Rye, that was gifted to us from Virgil Kane to try on the show. Yes. And we did. We did it as a flight. Yes. Like a hidden flight. Um, but you are having it now over ice, not neat, not like we'd normally do it. You're, so you're having it now just straight over ice. Right. What is your opinion on that now? I would give mine, but I'm not drinking until the end of February. This is fantastic. Is it really good? I really like it this way. Okay. Which I, I tend to like most of mine chilled anyway. Right. And with the, with you using the big stone, you got more surface area. It melts slower, so it doesn't water down so quick. Yep. Um, and I've just been sipping it, and it's it's amazing. I probably like it better this way than I do neat. Okay. Yeah, I, so it's, and it's... It's so smooth, dude. Well, what are you getting on? So, like, just give us the what you would normally get out of out of a, 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 a review. Like a, a review? Yeah. So a lot of the same tasting notes I'm getting. Thank you. I was looking for that. Stole my coaster. Uh, yeah, I was like I need, worried about your old table here. I need it up here. I'm going to repaint those tables. I got like I figured. three of them. Anyway. Yeah, so this here, I mean, it's hard now because I've, I've been into it for a while, so it's not like it's real fresh. Well, e either way, I mean, you've you've been sipping on it, so you yeah. still be able to pick up. Yeah, you still get a lot of the uh, – I like this because I'm picking up a lot of the oakiness okay. in the um, vanilla notes more than I am caramel or anything else. So I'm getting a little oakiness and vanilla. Um, on the nose, it just smells like really smooth. Kind of rye, but kind of weeded. It's weird. It's like it's, a it's triple. It's three ryes blended together. Right. You get the rye, but it doesn't smell as peppery or spicy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the nose, um, taste wise, you get just a little hint of the rye. See, I want <clears> a glass of that so bad. It's really good. I like it this way. Nice. Very very smooth, chilled. Nice. I like it. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I can't wait. Well, you got three more weeks. Yeah. You're three, getting there. Three more weeks. Yeah, it's it's so smooth this way though. We'll definitely have to. We'll have to. We'll revisit again. I'm yeah. sure. I got another bottle down there, but I can't open that bottle. You know, because I'm a collector and I just bought. You have it. a curio, curio cabinet. I just I bought it to look at it. It's so good. I fucking hate people that buy bottles to look at. Actually, there was a guy who posted something today that he uh, he bought a bottle of Whistle Pig to fucking look at. Uh, like Whistle Pig Boss it. Hog. He's like, yeah, I, I bought it to look at it. Yeah, some people have more money than and sense. And I just wanted to be like, 
That's a five hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. You first. know what? Any person like that, you cannot convince me. I don't care if they make a million dollars a day or a year or a hundred thousand a year or fifty thousand a year, whatever they make. That's what they want to spend their money on. Fine, but you cannot convince me that they are anything other than bored people who so, have no hobby and are unhappy in something. To buy a bottle to look at is nothing more then uh, you're you're wanting to be part of something. You want to show somebody yes. else, I've got this. I've got this, and you don't. So bourbon community, look at me. So I I, I did get on Urban Dictionary because the first thing that came to mind when I saw this was that motherfucker. He's a bottle whore. Okay. Okay, but bottle whore is basically a woman or guy at a club who fakes interest in somebody for the intent of free drinks or their bottle service. That's a pretty high-end club at that point if you're getting bottle service. Yeah, club. yeah. Um, my version of a bottle whore is someone who collect who buys bottles to look at them, but never without the intention of drinking it. All looky, no touchy. Yeah. So it's not on. I tried to put it in Urban Dictionary, and then they wanted me to go through the hoops and sign up, and I'm like, yeah, fucking, I'm out. Yeah. I don't feel like going through all that. But um, so th- that dickhead's a bottle whore. Um, I went to, and I'm tired, so I'm done with Giant Eagle. I will not be shopping at Giant Eagle anymore, as far as liquor goes. Um, occasionally I have to go there to, to pick up stuff for groceries that I can't get at Kroger. Uh, but as far as Giant Eagle's liquor store goes, I'm done with their asses. Okay. Like, completely fucking done. I've never been there. Well, so, I wanted a bottle of Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Right. A lot of people have been A lot of people, they've been looking for it. They want it. Pit Stop didn't get any on Friday. They didn't get, you know, Giant Eagle's had it since Monday. Their deliveries come on Monday. In Lancaster. Okay. So they've been sitting on it. You can go to the OHLQ website. It shows that they have it. Full bottle on the on their website, like the little red bottle. Right. shows that they have it. Shows they have plenty so in stock. Thursday, I go down. I'm like, hey, I said, you guys have the, the toasted barrel. Now, I know full well that this is a, an allocated bottle, like a Blanton's or a Buffalo Trace. So I go down, and it's not the, the typical OH, or, uh, liquor store employee that's there. And so I asked, I'm like, she's like, oh, is it not out on the floor? And I said, no. I said, it's not on the floor. I said, it might be one of those things where you guys keep it in the back. I said, like the Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare, like it doesn't get put out on the floor. You have to ask for it type of thing. And she's like, oh, hold on. She comes back. She goes, yeah, we're not allowed to sell that until Saturday. I'm like, but I'm here now. That's want- illegal, isn't it? No. I thought it was. Apparently it's not. Um, I said, but I'm here now. I said, and I would like to buy... One bottle. She goes, well, you'll have to come back on Saturday. I said, uh, yeah, I'm not coming back to stand in line at 6 o'clock in the morning with a bunch of fucking degenerates. I said that they're going to buy up all this inventory you have. I'm here now. I would like to buy one. I said, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to buy a bottle. I said that you right. have in stock. Well, we only do releases for allocation on Saturdays apparently. I'm like, Fine. I said, I will not be back to shop at your store anymore. Like, didn't go full Karen, but just fucking irritated to the fact that they're holding bottles for a week. And for not, no reason. For no reason. For some degenerate fuckheads that are standing outside <coughs> creating a line at, um, you know, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Or actually, 6 o'clock in the morning. And then taking pictures and posting <coughs> them up. Look at us. We're standing in line. We're a bunch of fucking doofuses. Da, 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 da. And so I ended up going up and saying something to, like, the store manager. I'm like, hey, I said, what's the deal with this? And she goes, oh, she goes, it's she goes, it's not store policy. She goes, it's company policy. She goes, this came down from, like, Giant Eagle headquarters. And I'm like, yeah, can you tell them that it's a really bad idea? I said, because there are people that are not going to go stand in line. I said, and the fact that you've got people standing in line, I said, creates a whole other issue with all the COVID shit going on. I said, don't let them stand in line. Just don't let them do it. Don't let them line up. Make them go sit in their fucking car. Yeah. I said, but they, and, and the thing that kills me is they're not lining up in the store. They're literally, the store opens at seven in the morning. They're standing outside the door, the entrance, from seven until nine because they're not allowed to come in the store to go to the liquor store. Right. To shop. Now, it's only a matter of time before somebody gets shot fighting over trying to get a bottle of something. It is. And these – well, these are the assholes that are ruining whiskey. Oh, like I the, said that. the whiskey uh, community. Yeah. I, I – the day that I made a few comments and told you guys I thought I got banned from Boca was yeah. somebody talking about 
buying something to sit in there. And I said, what, do you guys just feel curio cat? I said, what kind of precious moments doll piece of, you know, garbage is that? I was like, you guys are the ones creating the problem. You're sitting here complaining about it. you can't find nothing and you can't get anything secondary, but you're the one standing in line and you're the one posting that you got it and you're the one saying you don't even intend to drink it. Yeah. You're the problem. Don't buy it if you don't intend and to drink it. And then I had followed all the bourbon groups because no, they're all didn't. idiots. Well, you, uh, I didn't you, follow them. Didn't, yeah, I'm still on there, but on. I didn't okay. follow them. I was going to say, because you, you liked or commented on something that maybe Jimmy posted. Yeah, I only see if friends post okay. in there. Yeah, I am, because I'm fucking over. Like, I haven't let, I almost made a post that night, basically call, calling everybody on Boca a fucking degenerate. <laughs> line standing, window licking degenerate. You should. And, and that's what they are. They stand in fucking line, and they're like faces pressed against the window, trying to get into the goddamn liquor store. It's like it's like that scene in Willy Wonka where they all go to the candy store and they're like peeking in. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. You know, you got you got the guys inside. There are all these kids outside peeking in, pressing their face against the glass. Uh, you know what? That'd be a great like take that, make a meme, make that, make a meme out of that. Just says Boco members. Don't, standing in line for whiskey. Don't tempt me. I'm looking for a video I can download right now on my I, phone. No, fucking do it. I don't give a shit. But I, I would just, I would be like Bourbon of Central Ohio member standing in line at the liquor store. Oh, yeah. Because it, it frustrated me so much that I'm just like, I'm done. I like, I sent something to you guys in our group chat and I'm just fucking over all of it. Every bit of it. Now, some of the, some of the bourbon groups, I mean, they, the guys make sense. They're like, yeah. well, what's the, what's the difference between you guys collecting and just, Drinking it, and one guy was like, his response was, well, I only keep 20 bottles at a time. They're all open. They're all different unless they're backup bottles. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. I do the same thing. Um, but he's not holding 20. He's not holding. And just staring at him and then drinking, yeah. like, well, ancient age or benchmark or something. Some guys, you know? and then some ass, some other dumb shit comes in, and he's like, uh, a collection is a series of anything that you collect and blah, blah, blah. Like, gave the definition of what a collection was, is. Thanks, Webster. Yeah, great. Um, I have a dictionary sitting right here. I don't need to have the, the <laughs> right. fucking definition read to me online. But it's just like most of them are like, well, like the, the I think the bourbon sippers group, they're not doing – they're not standing in line and doing all this other shit. But then you go to any any of the Ohio ones. They're like, what's what's getting released today? How many bottles of Blanton's are? How many people are in line right now? Yeah, it's so dumb. Fuck off. You know what? Don't ask how many people are in line. Don't go stand in line. Or go stand in line and don't ask how many people are standing in line and find out for yourself. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. None of you are cool. Fuck you. Like, it's just, it's maddening at this point. Like, I just, I, I, I do more bitching about people who want to stand in line. And then I get, well, you just, you're just bad because you can't get it. I'm not even trying. I'm not trying. You are missing the point. I, tr I tried once. I tried to get a bottle of the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. That's the only thing I've tried to get. I like Elijah Craig. I've already had the Toasted Barrel. I think it's good, but I'm not going to pay secondary for it, and I'm not going to go stand in line for it. Exactly. I refuse to. I have morals. I have standards. I have integrity. I would not have guessed. I know. I surprise myself sometimes. So if you're listening to this and you're on Boco, fuck yourself if you go stand in line. Like, take the biggest, blackest <laughs> dildo you can find and jam it straight up your ass. Use your dictionary. Watch your language. I need a thesaurus for words like ass and dictionary. <laughs> I need a thesaurus for words like dictionary. <laughs> oh man. Dildo and ass. I don't I don't get it. Take the gigantic biggest plasticky phallic penis and shove it up your bee hole. I now have the candy man scene. Downloaded okay. right. from Willy Wonka. I may right. have fun with that later. Yeah, I would meme the shit out of that, and I would call out Boca members specifically. Like, put their Ohio bourbon names lovers. On it. Ohio bourbon lovers are they're just as bad. The cows, cows is fine. Bourbon sippers is fine. Dad's drinking bourbon. That's just basically a, a podcast group that just posts what they ha what they own, so that it's basically another rub it in your face, essentially. Yeah. Um, there's a couple good posts on there, but. There's some good people and everything, but the majority of them are just well. The majority of the ones hipsters. In, the, the majority of the one, uh, the majority of Ohio, the Ohio ones specifically, are just a bunch of fucking tools. Yeah. So I just I bumped over to Facebook real quick, 
and the first post I see is a buddy of mine lives in Indiana that you don't even know, and all it says is, I can't wait until Reddit destroys Giant Eagle. <laughs> God. Jesus. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the, and, and the one guy called, tried to call me out one time when somebody asked the value of something and I put up what the retail was. Yeah, because that's what the value and is. Somebody's like, and we talked about this. We're, we we're beating a dead horse. Well, but, we're all, every week I feel like we're beating a dead horse with like just one, one dead horse a week. That's all we got to do. Just keep kicking that horse. Yeah, that and horse then, better not shovel snow in my driveway. Yeah, and then next week we'll kick another dead horse and we'll just keep kicking that new dead horse every week. That's how we tenderize the meat. Yeah, it's purple too, so it tastes pretty good. Mm. Purple, purple meat. Purple smoked horse. Purple meat. Hmm. Purple meat. Just going to keep saying purple meat. Yeah. Anyway. It's been beat. And they also got me, the goddamn Boko page, got me on some Mitchers. Michters. That's what I said. <laughs> the Michters, Michters bourbon I picked up so, a year, year and a half ago to try. Well, we and tried it on I, the show. Yeah, I brought it in. I love it. I haven't you didn't had bring the, it in. I had re- the bourbon. Did it the bourbon? I had, no, you brought the. I had no. I thought I brought That's the bourbon blue, one. I don't know. I had a blue label and a green label. The That's blue label is the bourbon one. Yeah, I had one of those and I okay. had rye. Maybe we didn't try the the bourbon. We had the rye though. Okay, on the show. The bourbon I love. I haven't had the rye. The rye's good. I don't, did I, I yeah, don't remember. you had it because we did it on the show. Anyway, dude, we're almost three years at this point. Yes, I, know. I can't remember the crap. That's fine. Um, but we. They, someone had made. I had saw an article before I saw the post on that stupid Boko page that Michters was thinking about upping the price, doubling the price, right for the rye. They were going to go the way of the old well antique. Yeah, they were going to, but they were bumping it like they were doubling the price, right from forty two to to eighty five dollars. Um, and I saw that article and I tried to go back and find it, I couldn't find it, and then I saw like two days later on. Facebook that the price was bam the price was up it was already it had already been raised I'm like, yeah oh, shit so I was in pit stop and I'm like oh they have they have it for 442 still they still have it at lower price so I grabbed two bottles then I get home and I start looking into it more and no they're not raising the price at all that was supposed to be for the barrel proof rye ah uh. here's the thing if you, I I I compared the skews. For the one that was eighty five dollars in the picture to the forty five dollar one, and it was using the same skew, so they just printed the wrong goddamn price on it. Gotcha. Oh, you know how pissed I was. Seven. I was just like, "Son of a bitch, got me." Never do that again. <laughs> but oh, no, you got two good bottles. I do, but the problem is that I just bought two bottles of Elijah Craig Rye. Now I've just bought two bottles of Michter's Rye. I've got a bottle of. I just New pictured Riff. you standing in front of your your liquor cabinet, looking out with your hands on your hips, and the song <laughs> popped in my head was "And It Ain't No Lie, Baby, Rye, Rye, Rye." And I don't know why that popped in my head like that. But I'm just like I'm like shit. But, and I have New Riff Ohio Barrel coming. Oh, nice! I got I found. Well, I didn't find it. Mo found it, and he asked me if he wanted to pick it up. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and pick it up for me. So I've got a bottle of that coming. I'm just like shit. I've bought. In in three weeks of this nutrition thing, I've bought. I was going to say you're bottles. buying <laughs> bottles left and right and drinking none of them. <laughs> I think I'm going to walk in your house. There's going to be out on the floor. And... I'm running out of space. Seriously, I know you are. Like, well, the bot like the Michter's bottles don't fit in the cabinet. Tell you what, I need to get a new cabinet. You do. I, but... I'm gonna. I think. I think when I start working on the basement, because I'm working on. The, I'm going to start working on the basement. We had the basement floor fixed. Yep. I'm going to frame up three walls around the perimeter. And I'm going to put up another wall to separate everything out, build a little um, storage cabinet under the stairs, like a tiered rolling cabinet style system under the stairs for liquor. That whole L-shaped area is I'm moving all of this down there. Like I'm going to put our Liz and I's uh, stuff down there so that we can work down there. Um, but by that point, she'll probably be back in the office. I won't be. So I'll have a place to work. I'll have a place to record. The TV will be down there. I'm going to buy a new couch, get some chairs. Have just a place to just kind of hang out. I want a Barca lounger. You're not getting a Barca lounger. All right, I'll take a couch. You'll probably end up getting a chair more like that one again. Okay. Um, but I'm going to pull in. I want a recliner. No. Just full. I want to be kicked back like this. You'll fall asleep. I'm like, uh, there, the mics. I, I'm leaning back now for those of you that can't see me. Making all kinds of mic Oh, I am. Tilted, but I'm just going to be like this, listening to you talk. There we go. Mics, is, I, I'm fully reclined. With my head on a pillow. Yeah, we're not doing that. 
Matter this of fact, is, I may make you stand. This well, that ain't happening. I'll sit on the steps. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold the mic with my hand. <laughs> I ain't but, stand, I stand enough on hard floors for working. Well, man. so but I I'm hurt gonna, my knee Thursday too, so that's fun. Dumbass. I'm fat. Well, that too. But, but yeah. I'm gonna. So we're going to finally get our downstairs studio. Well, I think so. It, it'll happen hopefully this summer. I'm going to frame up the. wall. I got to paint all the walls white, then frame the that's walls racist. up. I know. Oh, it's to bounce light. To make it brighter down there. If I painted it like a... Black. No, that's going to absorb. Flat black. Oh, God, no. Paint all the walls white. Frame, then frame up three walls. So I'm going to just do the waterproofing paint. Frame up three of the walls. Put up another wall. Build the cabinet. Get everything down there. Couch, chairs. All this shit's going down there. This is going to get turned back into a bedroom. Um, and then we'll just we'll have a place down there to... Right on. Record and hang out and... Get every, you know, we'll be have actually, our handy men over. Yeah, I'm going to bring in. I've got cabinets like these. Um, they're garage cabinets that have stainless steel tops. I'm going to bring all those. I'm going to bring those in from the shed. Clean up, like wipe them down. Put that's where the TV is going to sit on top of that instead of being mounted to the wall. And right I mean, on. So it'll be nice. It'll be a cool little setup. Hopefully, it'll be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from slightly industrial in the in the look. Um, and then I'm going to paint the ceilings black and put in LED cam lights. There you go. So it'll be it'll be nice. nice. We're going to have big old cans and handy mans. That's right. And then carpet tiles on the floor. Just in case it floods, I can pull them up. You should do carpet tiles, but get like... <laughs> I just pictured everything industrial and the carpet tiles being squares like you'd see in a kindergarten room. Yeah. With like one's an A and one's got like a school bus on it if and that's a dog what I, you and know a what? purple banana. If that's what's cheapest... <laughs> If that's the cheapest thing I there can get, you. then I, that's the cheapest thing I can get. If it's I can get not one, the cheapest, but if I can get ones that have roads on them, so I can just build a road and just play with Hot Wheels. Yes, the old road map. Yeah, I'll do that. We got a. a I got a shitload of, of Hot Wheels. Yeah, I don't have many anymore. I have shitload of Hot Wheels in bo- in content, in packaging and even more out of the packaging. We need to set up a track down there. I'm going like to hang the race tracks. I'm going to hang all the ones I have in packaging on the wall on one of the walls. Yes, decoration. You should hang them behind you. So if we ever do video, kind of like Joe Rogan has a whole studio, which has changed. I just realized. Yeah, he's changed. I hadn't like seen his video for. I've listened to some stuff. Now he's got giant pink walls. Well, it's color changing LEDs. Awesome. That's even better. Yeah, he's got. It's it's built. It's almost like it's built in a uh, like a bunker style. Yeah, like, like an arc. The yeah, the, everything's arced. But that he did that when he moved to Texas. Oh, okay. I didn't even know he moved. Yeah, he moved from L.A. to Texas. I don't follow that much. Every time somebody sends me a link of one, they're like, dude, you got to listen to this. It's no lie. It's two and a half to four hours long. And I'm just like, even though it's good stuff. I break his shows up. I, I have to because I my attention span, I, I can't. Some of them I'll just play in the background. Like, I'll just put in uh, I do that too. one but earbud even, and, and just listen yeah, to it. When I'm driving a lot, if I'm driving two hours. Oh, yeah. I'll be driving along with something I'm really into. And next thing I know, I've zoned out for the last half hour. Yeah. So I'm going to, like, go back. Oh, see, I don't zone out. Try to focus. And then one day, last week, the show started. I was I was listening to a a podcast called, I think it was American Shadows, where they they tell parts about history. It's stuff you know of, but you don't know the whole truth of. Yeah. It's either that one or there's one about secret societies I've been listening to, like the the Bilderberg Group and Skull and Bones. But anyway, they started this and they did the intro. And like in their intro, they kind of give you, they, they set stuff up really nice. Yeah. So I'm driving. I, I listened to part one of this episode, and I'm I'm heading home now, and I hit start part two. And I get to drive, and I realize, oh, I just missed the last, like, three minutes. So I go back, start driving. I'm like, crap. I missed again, like, 30 seconds. I'm already gone. <laughs> so I go back. I'm not lying. I must have done this nine or ten times. And finally, I'm like, okay, focus, because I, I was leaving work, and I'm already going, okay, i got to get this done before tomorrow or next week or blah, blah, blah. So I go rewind, and I'm like, okay, focus. Listen to the podcast. Of course, I'm also driving. So I'm driving, and I'm paying attention, and I realize the 30 seconds I kept missing was just their generic intro. <laughs> It'd be like me <laughs> rewinding to hear, welcome to Buckhorn Podcast, 10 times. But no lie, it was like 9 or 10 times straight, and I was getting so mad once I realized I'd zoned out again. And I went back, and it was literally just their generic intro. That's at the beginning of every show that I missed. That's hilarious. But, yeah, I, I have trouble focusing. Well, I think everybody does at this point, but not not to our show. Everybody stays engorged listening to us. Fingers crossed. I mean, fingers crossed up their bums. Boom. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Like knuckle deep. Ooh. Two knuckles deep. That's so good. 
I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was, I mean, that's that's part of your your yeah, bottle. So it is, but it, oh, that's so good. I figure if I'll just let you drink your half of it, and then I'll just keep the bottle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. I mean, you can keep but, the bottle either way. I ain't worried about that. Even I'm, if it I'm went home with me, I'd bring it back. I'm not going to keep the bottle. I don't keep bottles. I, I, I've only kept the two bitch bottles. And I'm probably going to end up tossing those. Yeah. Well, eventually you're just going to end up with a basement full of empty bottles. Yeah, I don't want that. Right. Although I would like to have, having a, I, I, I do keep all my, my tops. Yeah, I've got I've got tops in a drawer. I yeah. started keeping them. I, I keep all the tops, the Brazil. cork ones, the the cool ones. Well, even even I keep them all. It doesn't matter. I keep all the tops. Even a screw top. Yep. Oh, okay. Or no, no, I don't keep screw tops. That's, That's what stupid. I, I only keep the cork. But if it's synthetic rubber, yeah. or cork, I keep all those. I keep all those. No, the really the only screw tops I have are the Weller. That's what I was thinking. And then one of the Makers One Hundred One. That's yeah. a screw top. Yep. Which surprised me. It, yeah, I was trying to uncork it. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was kind of surprised. I'm by like, that. this isn't. Why isn't? And then it, I accidentally like twisted the bottle to try to like twist the cork out, and I'm like, oh, it's screw top. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's like trying to open a a bottle of beer or pop that's not a twist up. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, I, I wanted to ask you something too, and maybe you need to close your eyes and listen to my sultry vocal tones to probably, get this. Probably not. And I know you're going to hate it because it happened on TikTok. But every time I have a video go somewhat viral, where it gets like tens or over 100,000 views, whatever, multiple people say I sound like Seth Rogen. And I never thought about it. So last night, I did a TikTok of me doing Seth Rogen lines. Why don't you promote the show on TikTok? I have. Our listenership hasn't gone up. Well, I, you know what? Here, I'll do, I'll do one right now. Oh, you can do it whenever you want. I want to record a video of me talking. I should move the mic so people can see. I mean, I, glasses glare so bad. I that's that's the biggest downside to wearing glasses. Is yeah. If you try to do a video, but um, yeah, a bunch of people say I, I sound like Seth Rogen, so I got a pictures of him from different films and recorded myself saying lines from those films with his picture up. And sure enough, everybody's like, like one person was like, not quite, but really close. But everybody was like, see, I told you, you sound just like him. And when that you sounds lines, more like him when you did that than because he always does that exasperated, like, <laughs> yeah, like, when he, yeah. And, he's, and then he has but his, that like his stupid, interviews, he does it. Yeah. And then he but has that stupid laugh, like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's fucking high all the time. And that's the other thing is, is the laugh. Um, so I, I can't do the laugh. It's just not natural to me. But the um, yeah, I read the lines and I wasn't acting at all. I wasn't trying to impersonate him. Right. I was just talking. And when I read his lines, and I tried to do the voice and fluctuations like he did. Yeah. You know when he's like, you know, the one in uh, uh what's it called, oh. Pineapple Express, where they pass out in the woods, they wake up and the car's dead. Okay. And I, James Franco's oh, that's a good movie. James Franco's like, what do you mean it's dead? And he's like, the battery is dead. It is deceased. It has ceased to exist. We need the car needs the battery to start, Saul. So I read it like with that aggression, but I'm not trying to emulate him. And yeah, people said I sound like Seth Rogen, Maybe. which is better. I, and I've also got that I look like Jack Black, so I'd rather sound like <laughs> Seth Rogen than look like Jack Black. You only look like Jack Black with the beard. If yeah, you should, yeah. When you're when you don't have a beard now, I, I will. No, so. I look like a pedophile. Which is odd. You'd think the pedophile would have and to be. And you drive a pedophile van. I do. Which a leaky the... pedo van. Oh, huh. We're connecting dots here now. Gosh. Wow. Reminds me, i got to remove that front plate soon. Yeah. I, I couldn't drive that here because it's not allowed within 500 yards of a school. <laughs> I'm not within 500 yards I know yards you're not, but, but the listeners <laughs> didn't until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's that, oh, that's shit. that's been my whole week in a... I feel it's so, weird. so I made I made a video just of driving in Ohio snow and it went viral. So I just well so I, I feel don't get like it. I feel like TikTok. I I don't like the it's not that I hate the service. I just we don't need another social media platform. I will, I agree with that. <laughs> but that, it replaced some for me. So I just I feel but I feel like every video on TikTok goes viral. Far from it. I don't cuz far from it. I I just like I feel like my videos would not like I'd get two views, probably one a of lot them of mine, would be me. A lot of mine get a couple hundred views. 
Like, but I wouldn't have anything interesting. So it's, which is why I haven't like done a solo podcast or like interviewed anybody by myself because I don't have anything interesting to say. I disagree, especially if you're interviewing people, interesting people. Well, that okay. Let me rephrase that. Uh, we've had all the interesting people I know on the show, Mo, Jason, and Bubba, and DJ, that I know. Yeah. I mean, I know JJ, but you're friends with JJ, um, and GW, and fuck Garrett. <laughs> um, Again? Well, no, that's his name. You know what? That's his name now. Okay. It's not just Garrett. It's just fuck Garrett. That's his new name. So on my TikTok, my last... Six videos, 252 views, 251, 275, 549, 1900, and then 52,000. See, that's a so I, you know, I'll get a couple hundred or I'll get, and then I did one with a twisted T thing and it got 170,000. Yeah, that twisted, that whole twisted T thing was played out before it even started. Well, I see, I got in while it was still just at its peak. I was driving down near Cincy and there's a giant twisted T box truck. Yeah. And I made a video about it being an assault vehicle. Yeah. And people went nuts for it. I thought it was kind of funny the way I did it, but like it went 170,000 views, gave me like 3,000 more followers. So I, those I don't 3,000 followers should be following our show. They and should. Listen, and listening to the show. They should. They should. Absolutely. I don't get it. They should. And I've had people send me money. I've, I've gotten paid now from TikTok. Oh, Jesus. So, so, so something, something. You were doing the little, like, you would leave, like, 20 bucks here and then leave clues. To, oh, yeah, still doing that. It. Yeah, so playing. Is that a motorcycle? I don't know. I heard, I... Did the motorcycle just go down I your road? I thought it was Diesel's I thought stomach it, for a minute. I did, too, but that was definitely not no. his stomach. Uh, so in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, okay. there's a note that you find. It's like, if, you, if you're out doing this or doing that in a treasure hunting and you find this, congratulations. Okay. So it's like a note that, and it tells you that basically, congratulations on finding the treasure. And then there's just a little treasure box behind a, that's a, pretty a cool. waterfall. And I'm like, oh, Randy's in this game. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> he's dead, but he's in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm hiding crap in the game. Yeah. So, but I just, I, it's not, like I said, it's not that I hate TikTok. It's that I just don't think we need another social media platform. And yeah. it's, in my opinion, it it is TikTok is given more unsubstantial credibility to people that shouldn't have it. How so? So basically, if there's a video, let's well, I'll just use the the same video, whatever that video is of some moron dancing at a gas station, like literally gets out of a truck and dances at a gas station. He's not going to get as many views, likes, hits, or um, comments on Instagram that he would get on TikTok. It's a stupid video. It's not funny. It's just some guy who gets out and does Gundam style or whatever the newest fad is, flosses. Yeah, you're a couple of years behind the newest fad if that's yeah, where you're at. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. But it's just like – Dude gets out and does the Macarena. Yeah, he get well. <laughs> Honest God, I've, I've seen Does that. Does the boot scootin' boogie. I've seen somebody get out and do the fucking Macarena at a gas station. But here's the thing. That but he gets more hits on TikTok, like thousands and thousands and thousands more on TikTok than he gets on Instagram. And it's and it's, it's stupid. But there's a, the flip to that is there's a guy I follow that has 100, 160, 170,000 followers on TikTok. But like two million on Instagram, so I don't know if it's just TikTok. I think any social media depends on where they got their start or what just went viral and took off where. You know what I'm saying? I will agree with that. It just, but I just feel like it gives. And for me, when I started TikTok, I used Instagram even less than I already was. I don't do Twitter. I stayed off of doing Facebook as far as actually like be like I still post to Facebook. Yeah. But I'm usually sharing stuff I've downloaded on my phone. I just hit share to Facebook and I just leave it there. Okay. So we're not gonna I'm not gonna give out the name here. Um well actually I can give out the name, I don't care. So is this, your this is my nephew. Okay. Okay, it's the ghost v two. That's his Instagram account. Okay. He has four hundred and forty three followers. Correct. Okay. He started this at the same time. He he does 
he takes all his TikTok videos and puts them on Instagram. I was going to say, okay. he's not doing anything. His Instagram is pushing people towards TikTok the way it looks. It's well, all TikTok it's, videos. His it's bio TikTok says, videos. here's my TikTok. Yeah, it's all TikTok. He has 123,000 followers. Point, 123, point three. There's a third of a person following him. <laughs> I think it's 123.3 thousand. It is. So 123.3. So, but he's got 1.2 million likes and 123,000 followers on TikTok. He's also your future boyfriend. He is? That's what it says right under his name. Oh, <laughs> potentially. I mean, but his videos are, I mean, you can't, I'm not going to give his name out. Cause he already, he doesn't, oh, he, his real name? His yeah, real don't name. do that. Uh, well, he doesn't want to, he doesn't, it's it's all anonymous. Every photo, every video. Oh, yeah, he's got a mask on. He's wearing sunglasses. a mask. Mask and sunglasses. So, but this is what he, this is what he does. Like, this is his thing. Yeah. But like I said, like, I'm, I, th- I feel like there's more. Not that my nephew doesn't isn't credible. Like the stuff that he does is actually kind of interesting, but you can just get a guy that does you know who dances, and he gets five million likes for dancing at a gas station. But he's not going to get that on Instagram because it's stupid. It's just it's not funny. It's not there's not interesting. It's not anything you want to watch. It's just a guy doing the Gundam style. So. I just I feel like a lot of the shit that happens on TikTok is Chinese bots. Okay, I think it's all social media. It's all the same level of crap. Well, it is. It's all just the different same styles of crap. of crap. Well, it's all the same, even the same style. Instagram of crap. appeals more to you because you don't want to sit there and scroll through videos. You, I'm a photographer, right? You like more of the pictures, and maybe how do you read descriptions? Oh, I read the descriptions of all the ones that I like when I look at the picture. I read the description exactly. On TikTok, a lot of people don't. I know. You interact with the... Well, it's because it's, it's all more video. Of the, yeah, it's more of the... There is no description. There is. There doesn't have to be. No, there don't have to be. That's what I'm saying. So, And there doesn't have to be on Instagram. Hmm. No, there doesn't have to be. The the, the photo... In, in The photo should speak for itself. Now, I, I read the description after... I look at the photo. I'm liking the photo. I don't give a shit what your political view is under the... Right under the in the description of what the photo is, the photo could be a, a, a photo of a ladybug on a rose, and they're talking about how much they can't stand Kamala Harris, right. or how much they can't stand Trump, or how much when Biden's going to die in office, or if he's even going to make it through the first hundred days, or whatever the case is. But I don't care about that. I'm looking at the photo of the ladybug on the rose, and then I end up reading the description under it. That's just I just I hate Instagram too. I hate Facebook. I liked Instagram before Facebook bought it, and then Facebook intervened yeah. and really fucked it up. When they messed up the yeah, I, when they started changing everything, that's when I kind of started. Well, and that's, out. I'm not even using Facebook anymore for the most part. I mean, I get on and look, but as far as posting goes, I can't see what I want to see in my timeline. It shows me what it thinks I want to see, yeah, which is not what I want to see. Like it literally, I get on there. In my entire timeline is full of nothing but the whiskey groups. Even if I've unfollowed them, it still is like, well, Jimmy posted in here or Craig posted here or Justin posted here. And I'm like, I, I don't care. So I just turned everything back on and then I just don't get on. Yeah. Maybe I'll get on TikTok. I have a TikTok account. Maybe. I don't know. It depends. There's some things I really like there. It, now... To your credit, there's a bunch of garbage on there because everybody thinks they're going to make a video that they think's funny and it's yeah. going to get millions of views and they're going to become they're going to become the next they get their a 15, social influencer and be able to do that for a living. Yeah, they're get they're going to get their. That's like saying I'm going to get into the NFL because I played in elementary school or middle school football. You know, yeah. it's like so a lot of people, even the ones I followed back because they seem like nice people and they followed me. Um, their content, some of them don't even make content, but the ones that do, it's just them doing nothing. Right. Well, see, that's but, what I would be. It would like, be me doing nothing. Just looking at, you know, the, the screen you had pulled up there, Gordon Ramsay has an account. It's hilarious um, because he goes off on people that cook on TikTok. Yeah. Um, Will Smith, he's done some really cool and actually, like, legitimately well-produced videos. Well, There uh, are some hilarious He's people probably I got follow. a team of writers. Oh, he does, for and, sure. But that, I feel like that's cheating. But, like I'm saying, for me, I'd rather see that. 
than some of the crap I see on Facebook or Instagram. Is it cheating? I don't know if it's cheating. I'd do it if I had that kind of a accessibility. But well, it's um, but even some I of the unknowns. No, that's not even the right password. I don't know what my damn password is. Even the unknown creators, like they're unknown off of TikTok or whatever Instagram. There are some that are freaking hilarious. There are some that are artists that I follow or musicians, you know. So I've liked that aspect of TikTok. Maybe that's why I like it because I found people that I can follow whose content I genuinely enjoy. Almost every video is is entertaining or interesting to me. Yeah. So maybe that's why I like it. I tend to – the fads, I don't really jump on board with those a lot. Well, If I think something's funny, I'll do it, but I don't do stuff just because everybody else is. So I don't watch videos. Oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Not you. Oh. No. Oh, it's because I've got the wrong. You done jacked everything up. No. I. Someone took my fucking username. On TikTok? Yeah. You mean they just took your last name? Yeah. Well, but like literally my name. There's one content creator I, I tiktoker i don't know what to call him person and how did that fail how did yeah okay they're the same 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 confirm <laughs> so fucking moron i uh but she's got like four million views but she's very inspirational she's funny there's another female creator who i don't follow but i've seen her page and her videos pop up every now and then 56 million views or, or followers, I mean. Okay. So way more than most everybody. And it's a lot of her just lip syncing or dancing and cool, but it's just like there's nothing for me. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll start using my <clears throat> TikTok account and I'll start dancing like Britney Spears. I, You should. You definitely should. That would be amazing, right? I'd watch it. How did that fail? I love this. Martel's trying to do the verification thing, so we have to pick two objects that look alike, and it's literally the same letters, and it fails. And I just want to see you get angry. You can't even remember your login. I can't. It's got to be some variation of this, because... I can't wait for this to fail. Right, ready? Yep. What, what are the same? This one the same? Letter C. Is this letter the same? C. Okay. Oh, that time it worked. That... But your password done. My password doesn't work. I'll just change it now. You have four chances left. Let's see. Do I? Oh shit, I do. This is riveting audio, isn't it? And anyway, we'll, we'll get we can this. end the show and then do this stuff. Yeah, this we'll do this later. Um, anyway, I think that's actually it for the show. I don't really have. I don't even plan to go into that much. I just fill in time. Fill in time. Oh, the living's easy. Rodney's on the oh, microphone with Ross. Just as a, just a, I'm just going to put this out there. If you, if you believe whatever the groundhog said for Groundhog's Day, you're a fucking moron. That's the show. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's the Google Tweets, the Gram, and maybe soon TikTok. <laughs> there's always, there's always a place in hell for me. There you go. Um, so I'm Martel. He's Randy. We're out. Peace. Follow me on TikTok at 